Once upon a time, a boy lived named Naveen. Naveen has joined an engineering college, even though all of his friends told him not to study in this particular college. This college has started as only girls' college after few years. He became co-ed. Naveen doesn't want to miss the opportunity to spend time with all the beautiful girls. His mom, Rekha, is a government employee. Her husband left them long ago. Ever since she has raised Naveen all on her own, instead of helping his mom here and there, he roams around with his friends all day. Lately, he has been mean to his mom, disrespecting her, scolding her. After a week in the college, he noticed not many boys has joined here, but it's filled many beautiful girls. A girl caught his attention, a girl named Anjali. She was so beautiful. Since he is the only boy in their class, he slowly started to talk with the girls. Surprisingly, Anjali is his next door neighbor. They have moved here recently, so they sometimes go home together. It didn't take long for Anjali to notice his Naveen's behavior towards his mom. As their midterm exams are getting closer, Anjali invited him to her house to help him study for the exam. So on Sunday, after lunch, he went her home. He greeted her mom, Kavya, and went to her room. He didn't see her. Anjali heard his voice and told that I am in the bathroom taking a bath. Instead of waiting for her outside his room, he decided to take a look at Anjali's naked body. He went near the bathroom and was about to see through the keyhole. Just then Anjali opened the bathroom door. Anjali was angry, sacred and Naveen has no idea what to do. He was caught red-handed. He started to apologize Anjali, but she is no mood to listen. You creepy pervert, I will call police, said Anjali. Naveen started to beg her, but she said, "I will not listen to any words of your stupid explanation. Please, I will do whatever you want, but please don't call the police," said Naveen. Anjali thought because of him his mom should be suffered she is very good person okay i will not call the police but you have to do whatever i say said anjali navin immediately agreed take off your clothes said anjali angrily navin didn't do it anjali asked him again angrily navin slowly removed his shirt and pant anjali took them and placed them on her wardrobe and she picked out a skirt and top now wear these said anjali giving him a skirt and a top Naveen doesn't want to make even angrier so he wore them. Top was little tight but the long skirt fitted him very well. Come and sit here said Anjali pointing towards the dressing table. With no choice he silently sat on the chair. Anjali opened her makeup kit and started to do his makeup. He was hating it but he couldn't do anything. She did his hair and applied lipstick as well. Then she took a bindi and placed it between his eyebrows. She wanted to add bangles as well but they are small for him. Just then she thought the makeup is over. She noticed his ears are pierced. She smiled at him and said it's your bad day. Anjali immediately took a pair of chumkas from her wardrobe and inserted them to his earlobes. I have to say you look really pretty said Anjali with a smile. All Naveen could do is listen without saying anything. Now it's time to study said Anjali. They both sat on the bed and started studying. Anjali told him what to study. Naveen couldn't believe it. What just happened? He came here just to spend some time with Anjali and make her fall in love with him, but here he is dressed as a girl.